Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? Who's ready for a Dollar Tree haul? I have one for you. Found some good stuff again. Guys, I thought these were adorable. They have had this style out for a while now. They're the little change purses. They're sequined. This one is white with iridescent, just the really pretty iridescent sequins. They also came in other colors as well, but I don't know why I always tend to pick up the white ones. I love these things. I have one in probably four purses just to keep loose change, things like that in. You know, you go to you go to Aldi's and you need a quarter and it's, you know, you're digging around your purse trying to find it. I always have the little change purses in my purse. These though, I bought for see if the grand ladies want them or you know, one of my grown-up girls. If not, I will donate these to Toys for Tots because any young girl out there is going to love this. But this year they came out with this style. This one has like true sequins on. They, they're little circle discs. This one is more flat with like a glitter iridescent. And you can see I picked up the white one again. I just think they're so pretty. And it's called a glitter coin purse. This one is called a glitter coin purse. This one is just called coin purse. But they have the um, twist, twist clasp. There is a little piece of styrofoam in there just to keep it in shape until you're ready to use it. I have never had a problem with these. The little clasp stays good for years. I just think they're wonderful. Great little stocking stuffer idea, guys. You know, you can put some change in it or a dollar bill maybe a gift card, and put it in a stocking for someone. I don't know if a gift card would fit in these, but you could try it. But I just think they're so cute. And like I said, I know they came in pink and blue and all different colors, but I always lean toward these. I love them. So we're going to put that down here. Let's get the food stuff out of the way like I always do. This time in the store, they had this rice aroni, and it says just add water and microwave three and a half minutes. This is in the chicken flavor. This is the rice. This is pasta roni, and it's butter and garlic, and it's little noodles. We have never tried this ever. And this one says just add water and microwave for three minutes. Have you guys tried this? How many servings are in here? They're just one serving and you get about one cup. Same for this one. These were the only two flavors we saw, so we picked up one of each of those. Just a quick little little side for lunch or supper or whatever. If one of the grandkids wants something like this quickly. So yeah, just picked up one of each. I mean, we've had the rice aroni, the chicken flavor a bazillion times. And we all know it's good, but we have never tried this pasta roni that's butter and garlic. Let me see if I can see the best buy. January of 24 on both. But they'll be gone soon. If me and hubby don't want them, then we'll just go ahead and pass them along to, to one of the kids that want them when we see them. And then one more, oh, we have, I have two more food items. This one I'm gonna consider one because we have kind of similar stuff. These were in the freezer section, and these were in the plus. They were $4 a piece. It's Michelangelo's lasagna with meat sauce. We got them just to try them because we had never heard of this brand before, never tried this before. We always get our, you know, like frozen type pre-made lasagnas from Walmart, like Stouffer's brand and the Walmart brand. They're both delicious. But we thought, why not? Give this a try. And Hubby tried it. I did not because I've been having some stomach weird wonkies going on lately. So I did not try it and it smelled delicious. I wanted to try it, just couldn't. He enjoyed this a lot. And like he was saying, for $4, if you're a single person, this would be great. Now for a family, you'd probably want to go and get a bigger box somewhere else. But just for $4, he said it was definitely worth it, and he actually said he liked this better than the Stouffer's and Walmart brand. And then we tried the chicken parmesan, chicken parmigiana. I wanted to see what the chicken was like, because did you ever get the chicken patties? Harper and London call them sponge chicken, because it's like they're it's just mushed chicken patty. I watched as he cut this open. It was meat. It was real meat in this chicken patty. And it's a little thing of spaghetti with sauce and then your your coat, and you're like, 
breaded chicken patties, and there were two nice size chicken patties on it. Perfect meal for one person for $4. You'd spend more than that going through the McDonald's drive through And it says on here, it's one serving, homemade taste, breaded chicken breast with vine ripened tomato sauce, spaghetti, spaghetti pasta, mozzarella, and sprinkle of Parmesan. No preservatives, wholesome, simple ingredients, inspired by Italian traditions, made in the USA. And the chicken Parmigiana is 10 ounce. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I like that it was made in the USA. And then this one, it's very similar in information. Homestyle meat sauce, creamy ricotta cheese, smothered between layers of pasta, then topped with mozzarella, made in the USA, no preservatives. And this is an 11 ounce piece of lasagna. So Hubby really liked them. He gives these a thumbs up and they are empty, but I've set them here to show you. We do try a lot of things from the plus section of the food, the freezer area, but a lot of it I don't show you because it's like I forget about it when we come home, I put it right in the freezer and then we use it, we throw the packaging away, so I don't remember to show you. But, you know, for a single person, $4 for a nice meal, make a little side salad, little piece of garlic bread, you're set. And the garlic bread from the Dollar Tree is amazing. We like it a lot. Let's see, which way should I go now? They um, The book section was just packed with new books. And this one just caught my eye. So I thought I would give it a read. And this was from Walmart. And it is it was $13.58. And I got it for $1.25. And I love books. I love reading books. And this says it's inspired by the true story that gripped, it must be gripped the nation. So have you guys read this? And it's called Lost Boy Found. And it must be about a missing child and grieving mothers. So this will be a nice winter read. I love books. What does it say on the inside? On the inside, the price is $16.99 US, $22.99 Canada. So I'm really, I'm really interested in reading that. Oh, one more food item, guys. I picked up another pack of these because they're delicious. These are the Kellogg's, the strawberry pastry crisps. I know I showed these in a video and I taste tested them. I like these a whole lot. They are good. And these would be excellent in a lunchbox, in a you know, after school snack, whatever, they are good. And they're just, a, they're, you get two in each pack. And they're a very thin, very fresh, crispy kind of pastry outer crust with like a strawberry jelly on the inside. And then they have a little sprinkle of frosting, little drizzle on the top. They're delicious. And they're just right, the right amount for, you know, that afternoon you get the little hunger pangs before supper. I had one of these with a cup of coffee here a few days ago. Not out of this pack, from the other pack. And there's 100 calories per pack. It does say per pack, or does it say per crisp? Nope, it's per pack. They're very, very good. So if you see these, give them a try, and then let me know what you think of them. I like them, and, you know, Kellogg's brand. I'm going to go ahead and show this real quick. This was another plus item. I had showed in one of my last videos, I picked up one of these little Christmas trees, but it had a wooden box as a base. I cannot find anymore. It was $5. So in the store that we were in the other day, they had this one. It was also $5. This is on a gold metal base, and that'll be fine. I still have to fluff it up. It's just the little flocked Christmas trees. And I just think they're an excellent deal for, for $5. So I'll go ahead and fluff this up and you're probably gonna see it somewhere closer to Christmas time. And does it say the inches on there? 20. It is 20 inches tall, which I think is nice. And it says it's 10 inch by 10 inch by 20. So it must be when you open it up, it's about 10 inches wide. It doesn't look very nice right now, guys, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna keep doing it because I'm getting flocking everywhere. Super nice though. The other one that I had in the wooden box, it had little little um, pine cones on it. And I still don't know if those were real or fake, but so I just picked up one of those. 
You may see it back here somewhere in the in the future. I went down the party aisle this time, which I don't do all the time, unless I know I'm having a party coming up, which I don't. But I happened to wander down that way, and I saw these candles and thought they were super nice. These are more in like the pastel shades. They also had this exact same, th same thing in like the primary colors. I just thought this was nice and they are kind of twisted so you can't read it very well, but it says happy birthday and every one is individual. You get 13 little candles in here. I thought that was really nice just to have on hand. I, I've never seen them do something like this. They had so many different candles and things that it's, I don't go down that aisle, so I don't see it. You know, one box of the little traditional birthday cake candles, it's like they last me for 15 years, so I don't really look. But this one just caught my eye. I loved it. So somebody will be using this on a birthday cake. Really nice. You know, 13 candles for $1.25. And then I picked up several boxes. I got three. They had the Scotty's Tissue. And the reason I'm showing this, typically I would have just thrown this in the cabinet to have for later, but I wanted to show you this. I was looking on the shelf. They had like eye level, they had all the Scotty's tissues and I believe they were 120 count. Well, on the bottom shelf, kind of shoved to the back, there was a big open box. Same designs, everything was the same. But when I looked, it's 160 sheets. So I picked up three boxes. While they were there, it was fully stocked. I picked up three boxes of this because I think it's an incredible deal. And there was a, a lady actually walking by as I, I was walking away from picking them up. And she went to pick up one of the boxes of the 120. I think it was 120. It may have been a little bit less than that. And I backed up and I told her about the 160. So she went ahead and did the same thing as me. She picked up several boxes of, of the 160. Always look, guys, because you just never know. When you get 40 extra tissues in a box, I think that's great. And these are the Scotties, exceptional value, two-ply, and 160 sheets. But it was wild. Every box, the, the designs were the same in both big displays of them. So always keep an eye out, guys. And then I picked up one of these. They actually had these at the checkout, right by the belt. And I've been looking for these in particular because I heard they work very well. And these are by Be Pure. There's that brand again. It is everywhere in the Dollar Tree. And these are called Smile Line Gel Patches. You get one pair in there. It says skin appears more firm and lifted. I need that. Reduces the appearance of wrinkles. I need that. Skin looks visibly younger and more radiant. And it says green tea infused. Have you guys tried these? I don't buy a lot of the face masks and things like that. I wouldn't say my skin is oversensitive, but certain things do cause me to break out. So I kind of stay away from that unless it's a name brand that I know and trust. And I don't really like the sheet masks, the ones that look like tissue paper. So I don't pick those up. But now if it's like a clay mask that you, you know, you smear on and then let it dry and wash off or peel off, those I, I like, but I've never tried something like this before. I remember a couple years ago, they had something like this that was one of the um, sheet masks for your neck. I liked that, but I can't find that anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and give these a try and see how they work. But I thought that was pretty cool. So went ahead and I just grabbed one just to try it. So let me know your thoughts on that, guys. All right, I'm going to go and get this stuff put away and move along with my day. If you guys like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.